Hey everyone, in this video we're just going to do some steps for mathematical modeling and then in the next video we'll start to look at some examples. So let's talk about mathematical modeling. This is the process of mimicking reality by using the language of math and representing the real world in mathematical terms. So we have idealizations of the model that are assumptions about relationships involving the relevant variables. And these can be laws, formulas, theories, etc. In the process of building effective mathematical models, it actually takes some time. And so here's a general outline of the process for mathematical modeling. So we're just going to break it into a few steps. Step one is going to be to formulate the problem. So pose it in a way that can be answered mathematically. Step two is to develop the model. Decide which variables are important and designate them as independent or dependent. So just so you're aware, you might be given a problem that's um, like in a paragraph form. You're given words and something's going on and you want to solve it and you're going to use math to solve it. So that's what we're talking about here. And so we're going to designate some variables. Independent variable would be one that has a um, significant effect and that would serve as our input values. Some examples might include mass, initial position, initial velocity, and time. The dependent variable is affected by the other variable, which would be the independent variable. And some examples might be velocity in general, location, and time of impact. And so you want to determine the relationships that exist among the relevant variables. And this would require some background knowledge and insight into the problem. A lot of the times this might be a formula that we know or just some background information about the situation. Um, and so the relationship, a lot of the times it looks like an equation. Step three would be to question your model. Okay, so you've came up with a model, let's question it. Are the assumptions reasonable that you've made? Are the dimensions consistent? So like your units that you're using in your uh, calculations. Do any equations contradict each other? Do the relevant equations have solutions? Are the solutions unique? How difficult is it to obtain the solutions do the solutions answer the problem that you were trying to solve in the first place? And then step four, validate the model. So when possible, use experimental data as a comparison for the model's predictions. Um, begin with simple predictions involving little computations or analysis, just by plugging in some small values if you can to see if this model does actually work out. Uh, but just a note, sometimes this is not possible because of different situations depending on what the problem was actually about. So um, you can't always validate, but if you can, you should. Okay, so that's it. This is a very short introduction to just the process of mathematical modeling. And like I mentioned, in the next video, we'll start to do some examples.